you are at a 25-bed critical access facility. EMS brings in a 23-year-old woman who was running from the police and was shot four times. My team is utilizing universal precautions and all equipment has been checked and is ready. Hello, my name is Dr. Tester. Can you tell me your name and what happened? Is the patient responsive? The patient is unresponsive. I'm placing her on high flow oxygen, starting two large bore IVs, hooking her up to the monitor, including O2 sat monitoring, as I prepare for intubation, and I will go ahead and intubate her. What are her vitals? Her blood pressure is 64 over PALP, heart rates 136 and 3, respirations 24 and SATs are 86%. I will give her a one liter fluid bolus and order blood stat as I look for the gunshot wounds both front and back. Where are her gunshot wounds and is there active external bleeding? She has two wounds in the right chest anteriorly, one wound posterior right chest, one right upper quadrant abdominal wound and a right thigh anterior and posterior wound with profuse active bleeding. I'll start transfusing two units as soon as it arrives and place a tourniquet on the thigh while placing a right chest tube and doing a fast to evaluate for abdominal bleeding and possible tamponade. I'll make sure another two units are on the way. I will also make sure that my surgeon has been called in in case she needs to go to the OR before being transferred to a higher level of care. How much blood comes out of my chest tube and what do I see on fats? Also, does she respond to transfusion? 900 milliliters of blood is immediately evacuated from the chest tube. Her blood pressure is now 82 over 52, heart rates 120 and her SATs have increased to 92% after chest tube placement. On FAST, there is no pericardial effusion seen. There is free fluid seen mainly in the right upper quadrant. I'll transfuse an additional two units packed red blood cells and activate the massive transfusion protocol. I'll place a Foley, NG tube, and get a quick chest x-ray to check my ET tube and chest tube placement. Her chest wounds may be controlled with the chest tube, but she also has an intraperitoneal injury and a peripheral arterial injury and will require surgical intervention. What are her current vitals? Does my surgeon do vascular surgery? No, your surgeon does not do vascular surgery. Her blood pressure is 102 over 64, heart rate's 98, respiration's 22, and SAT's 95%. Your chest x-ray shows ET tube, chest tube, and NG tube are in good position. I'll arrange for transfer to a higher level of care. I'll hold off on CT so as not to delay transfer. As you prepare for transfer, her blood pressure drops to 94 over 58, heart rates 116. I will give additional blood and FFP as per the massive transfusion protocol that was initiated. Is there additional output from my chest tube? Has my tourniquet slipped and is the right thigh bleeding copiously again? I will reevaluate the patient and check for possible missed injuries. You have 50 cc's of additional chest tube output. The tourniquet remains in good position with no significant bleeding at the thigh. There are no other obvious injuries. While the blood is being given, I will notify my surgeon and send her to the OR for laparotomy. I will ask the vascular team at the receiving facility to remain ready so that she can be transferred directly to their OR after XLAP is completed here. Depending on the timing, limb salvage may still be possible. Your patient is taken to the OR for surgery.